have Our another special ass guest for y'all today. She is a Christian youth group leader Stop. who yes. gives tours around was... the country. Leading Why'd the you kids have to bring up my the like that? <laughs> Because you know what? You should be proud of your work. And that's on youth group. And here's what it is. Here's what it isn't. Hmm. The conservative leader we've all wanted. That's Paris me. Bush. <laughs> yeah. Paris Bush. Um, I'm related to George Bush. Yes. Are you actually? Yeah, that's why I'm a youth group leader. That's yeah. why she's a youth group leader. Okay, not are you actually? <laughs> <laughs> no, this was no, me I'm not. Episode. Episode. I am not actually related to George Bush by blood. Just by just, marriage. Just um, by political views. <laughs> just yeah. By yeah. Political views. Yeah. By 9 11. <laughs> um, here's the thing I think it's really cute that we have you on this podcast. You became friends with Gabby online, what, two years ago? During the pandemic. During yeah. the pandemic. I stalked Gabby because I thought she was so funny. And she is. And then you started mm-hmm. following me. And then mm-hmm. we started, I think you, how we first became little internet friends was you tagged me in like a, on a hentai bikini yes, or something that's and right. I bought it mm-hmm. and then you and I yeah like we message every yeah. week yeah so all but of us. what your your real tea is is that you're a porn star I am a porn star and we yeah. love that yeah a star so who got, does porn so we've yeah. got all kinds of fun stories I could say sex worker to be politically correct but I prefer porn star porn star is way more it's glamorous so much more sex fun. workers fucking such a yeah. lame way to put yeah. it it's very vanilla I just know. Okay. Porn well, star is much We all have better. hot takes, and I guess that's hers. <laughs> what do you like better, sex worker or porn star? I, don't, I legitimately don't have an opinion. Star. A porn star? Are you kidding? A star? Like, that's so much more fun. I feel so like porn fun. star gives, like, cunt pussy. Like, yes, it gives, like, tits. Yep. It gives pussy. Yeah. You are staying with us, and I think that's I so am. fun and cute. I I get to stay with Gabby and Harper. I'm getting the full experience. You are. Yeah, and honestly, it's like first tea time. time, bed and breakfast. It, it okay, really is. because it literally yeah. is. And this is my first time meeting you in person. Y'all met... At Gabby's yeah. show North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. And I just think that's so funny how the internet works. Like you were a complete really stranger and now you're in our home. Yep. I was persistent over the years until. <laughs> From fan to friend. And I love that. <laughs> and really, for, truly. Literally. Um, real quick blurb. Oh. I have a full on cold sore on my fucking chin. Uh, I started breaking out last week while we were shooting. Just so that everybody know. Nobody can see. And That's no one can see it. Really so I don't really see it. See it. You're just no like, one can well, see it. I would have done the same thing. I just want everybody to know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what just happened. We were talking about and you too much and we had to bring it back to her. But <laughs> and I'm also guys, on a lot of hormones. Yeah. So I'm in a bad mood. And that's that. Most. You can't see it. So it's more of like a spiritual um mm-hmm. You also can't see that Paris is actually fingering herself while we're doing this. Yeah. In my new Vans pants. In your new Vans pants. They're from Vans. Because I was looking at those. They're really cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gabby convinced me to get them. What? Okay, so I, can I say you love anal? <laughs> let's get right to but it. No, let's do get right really? to it. Yeah, she loves anal. You guys, uh, no one believes me when I say this. No, because and like, want, that's what it is when girls are like, I love sports. I do love sports. No. no. I love sports. No, you don't love Dude, sports I am and a you don't sports love anal. Girl. What sport? Here's the thing. Literally, is, but is like, loving anal being a pick-me girl? Yeah. <laughs> It is being a pick Here's the girl. thing. If you, ha- if you could choose one for the rest of your life, it would anal it be... Anal or basketball? <laughs> yeah, anal or jersey. Um, do you hmm. love basketball? Do I put? Do I get to put the basketball in my ass? Yeah, you No, yeah. no, no. No anal play. I can't. There's no anal play. I don't okay. have to pick anal. Whoa, are you serious? No, yeah. anal you or like pussy. like that much. I would still be allowed to watch basketball, right? No. No, but anal or pussy? Anal. Stop. 100%. Why? Okay, Paris, Why? explain. <laughs> Break it down. I'm not Why? even okay. judging. I'm just a fat. I'm like legitimately fat. Because you're talking to two girls mm-hmm. that fucking I'm hate gonna, anal. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all some crazy stuff right now. Okay. Okay. Please. This is the fucking grossest story ever. I don't know okay. why we're, we're starting here. I hope you guys are. To. I hope for all what, of you that are listening and, and watching, I hope you guys are be, eating. This should be on Patreon right now. Okay. We um, have more stuff to move to Patreon. Paris no, is going to join fine. us on Patreon, y'all. Yeah. So... Yes, I'm going to spill a lot of tea on Patreon, just FYI. And me and Harper are going to make out. Okay. Me and Harper are going to make out. I would make out with Gabby, but we all know I already have herpes, so yeah. Don't need it again. Uh, okay. So Paris and I are going to kiss on Patreon if you want to see it. Um, Okay. (laughs) Wait, okay. What's this crazy fucking story? (laughs) Okay. So I didn't used to like it. I hated it. Um, I was like dating this guy with a big dick. He like tried to put it in a few times and like we just like didn't know what we were doing and it always hurt. And I was just like, fuck no, get that away from me. Um, And then I got pregnant and for some reason when I was pregnant. Wait, was baby daddy the one with the big dick that tried anal? No. Okay. No, this was unrelated years later. Okay. 
I get pregnant, I start like feeling weird. I'm like, I want a different hole now. No, are you serious? <laughs> And hormones be doing stuff. Yeah. Okay, Gabby, are you you're having to, that right now? You're about to all. turn. I'm so unhorny. like a werewolf. Okay, so here's what I happened. No, sex here's what there. happened. So like every day I'm horny, right? <laughs> While you're pregnant. Yeah. How pregnant? And then I, the start, the Newly, very start. Okay. I start so mast. I start jerking anal. myself off. Hold on, not craving anal yet. I don't know what I'm craving, but I start jerking off a lot. And then like every day in the middle of jerking off, I'm like, oh god damn it, I have to take a shit. And so I have to stop jerking off and go okay. poop. Okay, this is giving Lee. Uh, you're, and, you're, and you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. <laughs> and so she's like, pregnant. She's masturbating. She's got a shit. Yeah. After like, it keeps happening every day. I'm like, why do I keep having to take a shit while I'm jerking off? And God then does I for realize what we can't do for ourselves. Then, then I realize that. Um, the feeling of something in my ass is making me horny. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm right. not pooping. I'm not like, how do I, someone do the math for me? You're, you're not, you're, you, it's, it did a it's reverse. triggering the, the sensation of yes. that, that you're craving the yeah. sensation. It did you're, a reverse not, Uno on me. Yeah, you're, it, what, it, what it is, is, is you're not jerking off because you're horny. You're jerking off because you have to poop. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And, and the poop. Okay. Lee's so me. So yeah. Me. <laughs> thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> me having to shit was turning me on because it was like having a dildo in my ass, and then therefore I kept okay. masturbating. But then that was like making me have to go to the bathroom. Got it. Yeah. And so then you realized you're like, and then well, I was like, I oh, I something in my, ass. in my ass makes me horny. Yeah. I, okay, so, so that's how there's I figured a sensation when you hold in your poop for too long, like, it kind of feels good. <laughs> like, I have that sometimes where I'm like, it, like to a little, there's like a sweet spot Ew, where you, you hold love, in your poop you long enough. You secretly love anal. I might, but I don't because I've had <laughs> anal and I don't Sorry. like it. Okay. Maybe I just haven't had the right anal. It's like when people are obsessed with smoking weed and they're like, no, you just haven't found oh, the right God. strain Have you ever yet. tried butt that. plugs, Scab? No. Okay. I hate butt plugs. Do you really? Yeah, I hate wow. them. Why? They make me... I don't know. My butt pushes them out immediately. Oh my god, she's too tight. It's really bizarre. She's too tight. Okay, but, but you anyways, do then Benjamin I started for... putting shit in my butt, and not, not real shit. <laughs> so I took that out, and I was I just started like having anal with my boyfriend, and my ass just like open like that. So then, wait, how do you come? Are you using like a vibrator while you're doing the anal, yeah. and then it feels like extra good? Yes. No, it, that is the best. But also another component to this story is that um, the year before that, I think. Um, I got a really bad uh, pelvic inflammatory disease. Have Fuck. you ever heard of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It ruined my entire happen? pussy. I got an STD that my boyfriend lied about. Okay. And when we started dating, he was like, oh, yeah, I totally got tested. Okay. And I got tested and he actually didn't. And he gave me an STD. And for four months, I thought I just had a really bad yeast infection. Mm. And I kept like trying to like help like get rid of it and I was like damn what's happening and he like watched it the whole time no fucking way and like said nothing and then finally after four months I was literally bleeding when I would pick up heavy objects no. yes what was the STD Paris. huh what was the STD it was a new STD called Mgen. I don't even one. know. Yeah, okay. it's a new one on the block. Okay, trailblazer. Yes, I'm a trendsetter. Um, and so I went to the doctor finally when I was bleeding from picking up heavy objects. And they were like, okay, you literally have an STD. And, oh and then he went and tested. And he was like, oh, yeah. So I guess I kind of forgot that I didn't get tested. Oh, oh you forgot. Mm -hmm. you forgot yeah. That. How convenient. <laughs> yeah. It sucks because, like, STDs ruin women's... Um, like yeah, uh, yeah, ovaries. They fucking yeah, scar tissue, uterus, all that yeah. good shit. Yeah, really and can so make you infertile. It's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. For like a good year and a half, my pussy had like zero feeling in it, and I could not come from anything. Really? Yeah, yeah. It still like never came back fully. So really it's like when you get COVID in. and you lose your taste. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah like no, that. my pussy was never it's the like same pussy again. COVID. Yeah, it pussy, pussy COVID. COVID. The M -Gen. fuck is M Gen? I don't fucking know. I don't know, but it kind of sounds cute. <laughs> Mgen, will you look it up, Lee? Yeah. I've literally never heard of it. Yeah, there's not a lot of testing for it. Oh, that's so scary. It just, mm -hmm. So instead of like a rash or bumps, you get just blood Pelvic pillowing out. Of it was your... very similar to the same symptoms as like gonorrhea or chlamydia. I think. Oh, Did he have any symptoms? Um, no. Besides being a fucking asshole, he yeah. just was a carrier. 
He didn't have symptoms. Yeah, because that is how it is. Well, it's it's yeah. just reeks God havoc. said wreaks havoc on Let women. Let these men not get systems. any symptoms. Lee, I know, what? men, nothing happens to them, but we like can't have kids as a result. There we go. Mycoplasma genitalium. Don't say micro, oh. microplasma. Mycoplasma. What a horrible. Mm -hmm. That's bone chilling. It's an STD that can cause infection among people of any gender. Okay, inclusive. Okay, very and inclusive. Can infect <laughs> the cervix. I love that. Opening to the uterus. What's it's giving discharge. It's giving itch. It's giving pelvic discomfort. A word that I don't Dysuria. know. Dysuria. Okay. Dysuria. It sounds, you know, it sounds like a nice vacation place. Yeah. Kind of tropical. Wild. Okay, Dysuria. Yeah. Okay, we're going to Dysuria. Okay, so Paris, this is kind of hot. Yeah. Okay, so your reproductive your system has been ripped so to shreds. Into this right now. Well, I hope everyone's hungry. You know what else but... is crazy after that? After mm -hmm. I got MGen, I became a squirter for a year. Really? And I could not come without squirting. Okay. And then magically one day, sorry, it just went away. It was wild. Really? I've yeah. never been a squirter, don't know how to squirt. And I literally went there. to the doctor and I said, how come ever since I got this STD, I've been a squirter? And he and said, they had, run that back. Yeah, they had no and then he said, for me. <laughs> what? He said, okay, let's see. But here's something really important. And then they don't treat MGen because they just want all these girls squirting. <laughs> They're yeah. like, okay, so that, that would be on some like male doctor shit to be like, oh. This was created in a lab by men. And he's so like, well, the side effects, squirt. you're going to be in pain and you're going to like, you know, yeah. have blood just be like gushing out. Mm. But you're going to be a squirter, babe. Squirt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So well. the thing about today is it is the 4th of July. Lee's got his knees out. He's wearing shorts. He never Lee wears Lee has his knees out and he, his He's shirt has in blue. holes Not in the for chair. his nipples. It's the 4th of July. He's fourth with the fourth of July. July. His white men love yes. the fourth of July. The white men do love the fourth yeah. of July. Yeah. Do you yeah. really? No, it's my favorite. He's yelling. Yo, <laughs> what, wait, wait. Do you have plans? Do you know what you're going to do? No, at I all? have no plans at all. What are you going to try and do? I don't know. You're going to a porn wow. party. I'm going yeah. to a porn party. Can I come? I want. I, I need to find a party porn to only. go to. It's porn only. You, so you have to, yeah. You I mean, have to be ready. I'll bring a camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's no cameras actually. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. That's Lee, how you know it's gonna I, be I got good. a couple. It's I got a couple porn things stars only. on the burner. I'm having something. a panic attack already. Why? I would not be able to perform in that circumstance. Would you start crying? Do you think? I probably. Yeah. Are you serious? Perform I, what? I just, no, just socially. Like, so, no socially. No, just like be social at all in like in like a heavy sexualized environment. Really? Yeah, I would. Freak you'd be out. jerking off. Yeah, Would you yeah. be freaking out? Yeah. I, can I say one thing? I don't like that you're saying this with those glasses on. Because <laughs> it, it, it's, it's giving very much DJ. It is. It's giving DJ. It, it is giving that he's on It's Molly. giving welcome to the ride. <laughs> I get nervous oh around God. women. Scootily beep, 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 bop. <laughs> yeah, you look like totally a radio funny. talk show host right now. Yeah. Yeah, I love the, the 4th of July. See, that's yeah, that's all okay. you can say. Okay, man all loves, you can say please, is I don't know what's worse, Lee. you loving music or the 4th of July. <laughs> I can fuck music. up a hot dog, so I mean, I get it. I get what? it. Okay. Um, okay, so want a Paris, hot dog real bad. that was wild. Paris loves anal. Can I ask that's my story about anal. I want to hear about y'all's anal experiences now because Worst. you guys seem to hate it so much. Um, so long story short, bad. Um, but <laughs> when did you start um, being a sex worker? Oh, um, Say porn star. literally, uh, never get me the minute the, the pandemic me. started, basically, really? I was one of those first OnlyFans Wait, models really? that jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah. It's okay, that... Pierce, you are a trailblazer. Wait, it's been that through. short of a time? Well, I, I don't know if this counts, but I did used to sell my panties on Craigslist. That's, hard. That's fucking sketchy and as My shit. mom used to always tell me to do that. How much? Okay, <laughs> not that. I would make not like $20. Not your telling you to sell your panties on Craigslist. Stop. Shit okay, stained or not shit that's stained? That's sex positive. No, not shit stained. Like, like discharge. Do you think you can make extra for it being shit stained? Do people request <laughs> yeah, that? Because if Gabby, so... It's a must. It's a must. Yes. Really? really? Yes. When I pull my panties down and there's a shit stain, I'm like... Do they want thirty more dollars? Really? They want it. <laughs> Why do I'm you being like serious? That? I'm being dead serious. Oh, Gabby, clean Let up. me just oh, tell you guys up. something. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every... I'm selling my eggs, and I could be selling fucking shit stains yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Literally a hundred bucks. That's how much I sell them for. Crazy. Yeah. Are you serious? Every man on this planet, including you, has a shit fetish. I promise you, they really? all have a poop fetish. Including you. When they're pushed to their fucking limits, they'll have a poop. What fetish. do you mean a poop fetish, though? I mean, I used to date a guy who always wanted to be in the bathroom and I was taking a shit. And I was like, I'm too shy. I can't do this. And he's like, why? It's so I, cute. And I was like, no. Ew. Okay. Not to judge or anything, but I no, think it. poop stuff is so nasty still. But mm -hmm. I'll 
take their money all day long. But like, yeah, as, as you should. I, that was my biggest request from day one. They want to see the poop coming out. They want to see love the, the poop, poop going out. in the toilet. They want to see the poop on the dildo. Like literally. No, man. The no. amount of money I have made over the years from poop is and these men walk paying for my us. nice house. You know what I mean? So check this paying out. Paying for your nice house. This guy, yeah, literally. How many bedrooms we I literally in? put my kids in sports camps because of the poop content. Because of poop. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> poop okay. gets her fucking paid. I love that. Yeah, me too. No, I mean, I think you'd have to be a fucking fool to not love that. Yeah, the very first time I sold a video of me, why are we talking about shit so much? This is like okay, so because much. tea time. It literally, just it, you make your living on poop. Okay. Just, no, like, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I'm not she me. Made not living fucking off poop of her girl. shit. Yes, you I are make poop a living girl. on anal content, clean <laughs> anal content. Okay. Because poop is banned on OnlyFans. Is it? Mm-hmm. Why? It got why? conservative yep, because they can't have any fluids <gasps> except for fucking cum. It's so stupid. What about? Like breast milk and squirt. Uh, no milk. I'm pretty sure no milk. No um, period no blood. Pee, no poop. No period blood. Absolutely no period. What? Blood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's anti woman. It. They changed their rules up, and everyone got in trouble for like the old content that they did. Been this posting. happen last April? No. Okay, no. Okay. You before that. So caught up. Yeah. Now I know what you're talking about when they when you thought OnlyFans was going to get shut down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, it happened that. before that. Okay. But they definitely did like start tidying up big time. There was a woman. I'm forgetting her name, but she she like scammed like people out of um, about a million dollars. That. She was um, a who was fucking that? Bella Thorne. Yes. That's who it was. Don't get me started on Bella Thorne. I know. Okay. Hi. I, okay. That was the first time I went viral on my um on my personal Instagram account because I was feuding with her and she blocked me. Are you serious? Yes, because she pissed me off so much about the whole, she like charged $200 or something for these naked photos, but then she wasn't actually naked and all these people bought them. And that was like the start of people thinking that they were going to get scammed on OnlyFans basically. Got and it. she like gave, she like ruined she OnlyFans, OnlyFans for everyone. Rap. Yeah, because after that they had to put a cap on how much you were allowed to charge for stuff and a cap on like how much mm. you can with Withdraw at a time. Like they had to make all these new things because she fucked up OnlyFans so bad. And she's still on there. And she promised to donate her fucking earnings to like no a fucking organization or something. And she never fucking did. Ain't no. no way she did. It made me so mad. Lee, okay. are you using OnlyFans right now? Are you? Subscribed? I am. I'm exclusively on OnlyFans. You're back. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. No more hit You don't watch, oh, you sorry. don't just go on Pornhub? No, sorry. exclusively OnlyFans. Why exclusively OnlyFans? Because it's the connection. Um, I actually don't like the connection. I don't like to chat. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. You just have girls that you like. Here's the thing, Lee. I have one girl I like. Mrs. Wizard Sleeve. And I just buy her stuff. (laughs) Quinn. Quinn. No, no. I didn't love her content. Really? Really? Why? Give me the tea. I don't, I don't guess I don't want to say it here. It just wasn't for me. You can okay. meet, meet us on Patreon. Ali will tell you she why. She like is my star. biggest girl crush. Really? I met her when I started OnlyFans. We started like at the same time and she was like a sex educator or she was in school for sex education. And we like had that in common and we were, well, I wasn't in school, but I was into it and we like started talking and she became like my biggest girl crush. I think she's great. I've never um, filmed with her. I just, I, well, what it really is, is that. I just want to keep buying new content. So this one girl just like she makes it's like just a flurry of like yeah. really cheap videos yeah. without getting flagged. Can you can you give us the gist of like what's w- happening in these what, videos? Yeah, because I don't understand. It would not without getting flagged. Wait, I we're mean, gonna it's get masturbation. flagged. Wait, it, what's gonna it, flag us? Uh, this uh, anything uh, I've ever said in my life. But yeah, pretty much everything. Yeah, pretty but, much, but yeah, pretty but, much this this nobody's gonna see this video. <gasps> Stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> Wait, let's start over. I won't mention shit at all. Okay. So so you're saying it's um he just wants the new content. Okay. And just, I'm not making enough new content, so my regulars get pissed at me. Really? Because they're like, dude, we've seen every video. When are the new videos coming we've out? We've seen all of the poop anal. We need <laughs> There's more. no poop anal on OnlyFans. Let me right. get that straight right, right, right. so I don't get banned. <laughs> okay. Just okay. the regular anal. If you um would you get any plastic surgery? I um, have thought about that. I've always, literally, my whole life wanted a nose job. No. And yeah, and I would maybe still get a nose job. I go back and forth like liter- constantly about okay. the nose job. And then um, I've gotten a ton of filler 
in my face. Just crazy because you, you can't tell. Yeah, you can't tell at all. Um, Where? I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I haven't gotten any lip injections in like five months, I think. And my lips are the smallest they've been in like years. And I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? I kind of like it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, when, when I see photos of my big lips now, I'm like, that looks bad. Yeah. Not, not like... Like uneven bad, not like the injector did an amazing job. I think that they didn't do an amazing job and that's why they looked bad. I yeah. think it's possible for them to look good, but um, I've never had mine look good. Ever. Yeah, they've never. I, been. I mean, I I know how you feel, but also like I disagree because every time I see your lips, I'm like, oh my god, that looks so good. They look better now. They look yeah. great. They're fucking dissolved. Yeah, and there's like a little bit of filler. I left, have yeah. literally probably five thousand dollars in filler that I've put in my face. What like, can you tell Botox? me? Botox, like full Botox, love, and oh. then cheek, um, cheek filler, and then the lip filler, nose Botox, which is very cool. What's nose Does Botox? It, it, if you have a nose that hangs down, like on the side, it will lift it up a little bit. Okay, cute. Apparently, there's some fucking muscle there. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. And then I got chin filler and jaw filler. All right. See, here. the chin and jaw filler don't. I don't. Understand I hate that. it. Yeah. It's, that wait, one, really? I let this woman convince me yeah. that Weird. in order to be the most attractive, <laughs> you have to have this like balanced face, yeah. and part of it is like having this pointed chin that's like bigger. And I was like, girl, no. I already have a big chin. Like, I don't need a bigger one. And she was like, no, no, no. You have to trust me. This is like what's most visually appealing to to people. Chins. And I let her do it. And I literally looked so stupid. I looked like I had a massive chin. And I was like, this does not look good. Every time I see, like, my friend just got a fuck ton of like chin and jaw filler. And I saw her, I was like, bitch, you be looking like Jim Carrey in the mask. <laughs> like, it was oh, not literally. good. It was yeah, not good. It's, I can see it from a mile away now on people's Instagrams. Because like, everyone's doing it. They're all getting the chin cheek and chin filler as like some kind of like balancing it's called facial balancing and i don't facial believe i think balancing. it's a fucking scam i think it's a scam sure. too i think capitalism is going to <laughs> rape us <laughs> botox, but, um, botox and a little bit of a lift come on we're good everyone is also getting these uh temporal lifts right now yeah what's and that like, girl got re- I is that what the threading got very scary infected oh, yeah no no is that where they do the, like the literal threads yeah. you know that's oh. different but that's gnarly oh, that's yeah no this is like a little incision on your hairline every celebrity you see on tv i swear has had it and then it's just like a little lift they love it and the, it makes your eyes look upturned yes the yeah. cat eye look is mm-hmm. very very un. Yeah. Well, people were I just talking about, about um, jennifer lawrence just had like she's like now on a press tour for her new movie because like she yeah. had a kid she was like away for a minute and now she's back in the spotlight and she looks different but just like more like she does more like awake i guess and everyone's yeah. like what work did you have done because i want that yeah I she was might like, have okay. had yeah she might have had that but there are all kinds of threads you can get put in your face to pull it certain directions I talk about shit. it forever i love but the wild thing is mod. like being online all day long and like seeing everyone's photos i don't know if you've ever downloaded um like face app or face tune mm-hmm. but they can the AI on those apps is so good that you can make your face look so fucking different and it looks so real. And so now when I'm on Twitter, like I see like every model has used it. I'm just like, that's fi- I know that exact really? filter. Yeah. And it makes it kind of like it's ruining it for me a little bit. I'm like, OK, you guys just look like the fucking AI filter. Yeah, yeah you don't look yeah. like. Yeah, you don't look like you. And yeah. not to like. I'm not like shaming anybody or anything, but when I see myself now, I'm like, I'm kind of like okay with looking like more human. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I kind of like because it a little bit now. Because it all starts now. to look the same. Everybody starts to have the same yes. kind so, of face. Um, I, I did want to like just like say one thing because I, I just started feeling like, a little bit bad, but like when, because I, I, I mean, I've had Botox done too, Um, mm-hmm. but I, uh, and like when I can afford it, I would love to get my titties lifted, like, because yeah. they're not naturally up here, honey. It's giving very much down <laughs> to my knees. But um, I, uh, when you were like, when you were like, oh, I want to get a nose job. And I was like, and then I just, with a no filter, I'm like, no, oh, I was just like, that's everyone's first reaction but i just think also mm-hmm. you have such a cool looking nose like i wish Thank i had like you. a pointed nose i i, I cannot stand I that nose. i have like a like a button at the end of it but Aww. then i was like um i was actually like looking at pictures of my dad and i when i was posting them for father's day and i realized that i have the same exact nose as him and i was like Aww. okay like that and yeah. you know i was yeah. like okay that's that's kind of cute nose. 
Yeah, yeah, I was like, okay. Literally, like I have the family nose, but yeah. all the men, not the women. The oh, women no, have no I, have the, I have the man's, the man's <laughs> yeah. nose. Right. And obviously, like, yeah, you want to change your nose, honey, go off. But at the same time, like, okay, my friend just got veneers on his teeth mm-hmm. and he had the cutest gap in Aww. between his teeth and his teeth, like, they looked cool. I kind of like, like little fucked up yeah. teeth. They looked so cool and cute and they really fit his face and he just got veneers and I'm like, you look like kind of a clown. I dare you oh, to fucking no. take a brick to his face. Okay. Oh, up. yeah, Gav? Mess Give me five dollars dollars and I'll five fucking do dollars. it. Yeah. Five. Yeah, five. Okay, yeah. I have a I have a confession. Um maybe y'all don't want to listen to me going on about face filler but and stuff, but I am getting veneers at the end of the month. Oh, that'll be good. Honey, I go am off. getting six veneers on the front of my mouth and bottom and top. I'm getting braces on the bottom, like Invisalign, and then I'm getting okay, all the teeth braces. on the top, and I'm like so excited. Yeah, dude, no, I, go off. Because I have mm-hmm. legit poverty teeth. Like my teeth are all Stop. fucked up. Wait, smile. No. Oh. <laughs> For everybody, like, you, you can see I still have a baby tooth right here. Do you really? Uh huh. That's the baby tooth. Okay. And then I chipped these eating a hamburger with a fork. No. Stop. And, no. Yeah, literally. Not poverty teeth. Um, okay. Yeah. And it, it just like reminds when I see them in videos and I'm like about to suck a dick and I've got my <laughs> mouth open. I'm just like, you were so poor. Yeah. Okay. And now we've come a long way and I think it's time f- we can fix the chips. Now we can fix okay. the chips. You know. And I teeth make that. a huge mm-hmm. difference. Yeah. I want to get all this shit off. My- yeah. For sure. Absolutely. She wants to get her gems off. I'm trying my to get two, my gems off. My two front teeth are uh, veneers. They're oh, fake. really? Yeah. yeah. I chipped both my teeth. Mm-hmm. They look good. Dentures. I'm yeah. getting like the fancy ones from the dentist, not like the order online. Girl, those like, going to be expensive. No, they no. are. Oh, yeah. You got to go to the... Yeah, you How much yeah. are you going to drop on those? It's like, 6K. 15? Really? 6K? Yeah, for okay, all of it. as bad as I thought. My insurance is paying for a thousand. So okay. don't worry. They've so it's got it's giving me. very much five. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it is giving five. And today's subject, we are doing weddings. So yeah, you weddings guys emailed Paris, us. You wanted to do wedding stories. Do you I have, have kind of wanted to do this for yeah, a while. Do you, do you have a wedding story you want to start us off with? Um, I personally have never been married, but I was engaged once, How, once upon a time. One time. Mm-hmm. And I picked my own ring out and made it seem like... I wasn't picking my own ring out Love that. and I made it very obvious that I wanted that. And then I made it very obvious that I got a French manicure for the proposal. Yeah. And I kind of controlled the whole situation <laughs> yeah. and got what I wanted. And then he left. But um, OK. <laughs> and that's so you didn't when get what I was three months yeah. pregnant. He said bye. Wait, how many um, months? When I was three months pregnant with with my son, he said, bye-bye. Oh, my, oh, you were engaged to him. Mm-hmm. Oh, Paris, Yeah, we I'm were so sorry. really doing the whole, like, cookie-cutter couple thing. But you didn't like each other, and that was that. I didn't really like him, but... And then, but and you said, then I, I got knew, this... And then I said, now I know why I didn't like you, because you fucking left me. Yeah, because you're fucking I rude. did get the ring that I wanted, and <laughs> Where I did is it now? And she's it. wearing it now? No, okay. Oh, you're, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I sold it on eBay. How much did you sell it for? Seven hundred dollars. Nice, cute. I, it paid my rent one month. Okay, yeah. and uh, it was really sad to see it go. But I also felt kind of bad, like selling this like cursed ring to someone who was going to get engaged with it. You know, but you Isn't know what? They, they're going to have new memories with <laughs> I hope it. So. Are there new rings? Do people like get brand new rings? Yes, yeah. yeah, all the time, always. Okay, I feel like you mostly get brand new rings. Right? Okay. Yeah, I yeah, like mine was an antique. A poor boy thing, to but I was get, like, like a you might or like yeah. if you have like a family ring. That's like, 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 let's say yeah. this was like a, a yeah. massive diamond or something. Right, it's like take passed it off. down. Yeah. Like some yeah. families do that. No, My thanks. family doesn't. My I family don't. has bracelets. My mom had like a bracelet that she wore. Huh. Yeah. Instead of a wedding ring. Yeah. Interesting. Very unconventional. Wow. I want to get had a bracelet. Okay. Yeah. Cool. She said, Your mom no serves for pussy. Me. She She's just like something. talk about control. She's like, this is what I want. She serves yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. I want. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I want to get cremated when I die and get my ashes turned into a diamond. Okay, Miss Thing. Okay. You know how they can do that? Yeah. That's on weddings. I have a bad joke. What? Ugh, God, what? Go, go ahead, And Dad. then put it on the end of a butt plug. That's what yeah, I was going to say next. Yeah. Yep, Ooh, happy exactly. Fourth of July, everyone. Okay, okay so how's this? Get, let me tell you guys. Right, Mr. I'm, Hot Dog is ready to go. <laughs> the last gift I gave uh, my ex was a butt plug with our photo on the end of it. We had this like really cheesy photo together, and I got it. Did he wear it? Like butt plug. Did he? No, like we broke up like right after that, and now I'm stuck with this butt plug now with our faces plug. on it. Yeah, and my daughter found. Okay. It. Oh, never mind. No. Cut that out. No. <laughs> Cut that out for real. Okay. okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and so she has a butt plug with her ex's face on it. Okay, yeah. and that's on boundaries. But okay. here's the thing. Okay, Weddings. I love that. I, was, I got married when I was 20. Wow. And, yeah, mm-hmm. when I got married when I was 20. And we got divorced literally like this year. 10 years fucking later. You're, you were such a devoted wife. A devoted wife. Did everything I could to keep it together. Um, No, we got married when I was 20 and it was very much like my... He was my boyfriend and he lived in England and he was like, I don't want to go back to England. And I was like, well, I guess we'll just get married. So we got married in court. And... Um, Love that. Then we broke up like a year later. No, I think it's together for like three years. We were together for, we, I think we were together in total for four years, but mm-hmm. two of those years he was in England. Oh. And then we got married Long and then there distance. was like a year or two after that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then he, uh, how'd y'all meet? Mutual friends. Okay. He was just like staying at my friend's house on vacation. And he said, that's my man. So that's my man. That's my husband. That's my husband. Yeah. yeah. And now he's going back to England like this, this week. Is he? Oh, wow. Yeah. For good? Yeah. Oh, wow. I think that'll be good for him. I think it will be, too. It's been a hard... It's been a hard... He's a very sweet person. He's a very yeah. sweet person. Love like him to death. He's had a hard time. He's had a hard time. He's going back to England, and... Um, Is he still going to do music? He's still working... in his. <laughs> he's still working in <laughs> his job, yeah. He's, like, um in, like, music management or some shit, okay. whatever. Something so boring, but... We got married, and... So it's kind of so getting the idol. you've been a wife. I've been a wife. Such a good wife. Have you been a wife? Honey. No. You could never. You're like, okay. no one could ever tie no. me down. <laughs> Honey, you could never. I'm a free spirit. No. Um, uh, I've, I, no. So long story short. Okay. I, well, there's no long story to tell because there is no story. But yeah, yeah, so no, I've never been a wife. Um, I, of course, have had that conversation in relationships where we're like, oh my God. Where they said, will you marry me? We could say, no, it's, it's, it's always like we start talking about like, like, oh my God. Like I've had, I had two like long, like serious, like long-term relationships. Everybody. It was, Lee, you're crazy. And all I can think about <laughs> is like how you look like a radio DJ. Hey, but, Fourth so, of July. No, I can't. Okay. Fourth of July. All right, now you guys being amped up and Gabby and I are numb. But, um, but so, you gave uh, me Celsius. Oh yeah, that's true. I love how it just like puts me to sleep. But um, yeah, no. But then guess what? It doesn't, it didn't pan mm-hmm. out. And we love mm-hmm. to see it. But do you guys give a fuck about getting married? Not anymore. No. Yeah. You know how like there are women who are just like from the day that they're born, they're like, I cannot wait to get married. I mean, whole, whole wedding plans out. I know what I'm going to wear. I know what I want to do. I think that's a societal distraction. I, I think it's think really, really I'm like, can it. you fucking imagine giving that much of a fuck? I, I could not. That was me 100%. Really? Until I got it. And then I got it out of my system. You really were like, I, I want to be that bride. Yeah, I got, I did all the hokey shit and I got the proposal and the ring I wanted. And then that was it. I like, that relationship and was over. And I was, was like, all... I have no desire to do that ever again. Yeah. I've seen this happen with friends of mine. Um, I won't say too many specifics because some of them listen to this, but I've seen, and with Love and Light, the people that I'm talking about, it has not <laughs> ended well. <laughs> okay. But they they become so goal um, you know, focused on, uh, yes. on like uh, on what you were just saying. Mm-hmm. Let me get the ring. Let me get this. And then mm-hmm. you you spend so much time getting wrapped up in the goals. Doesn't matter what man it is. You, you, well, yeah, right. Exactly. And then you and then it's after the dust married. settles, and then you you got your goal. Mm-hmm. You you accomplished it. Then you're like, oh shit. Now I'm married to someone who jacks off into a Cheeto bag. Like, right. Yeah, go on. I know. Right. All of a sudden you're fucking you don't married. Help, you don't flush the toilet, Lee. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. No. Right. I, I, I just, you're married like, to this fucking bozo. And then it's like, you know, the wedding day happens. You're like, it's the best day of my life. And then the next day you're like, <sighs> yep. And you just same want somebody, old, same old. you just want somebody to call your husband. You know, it's just this weird thing of just being like, I want somebody to know that I was picked. Mm-hmm. Ew. I, no, I, there's some ew. comedian I forgot who said it but there was some comedian that was just saying in his set he was like I think that marriages in this day and age need to be um, like I think the contracts need to be drawn up differently he's like I arranged think, uh, <laughs> yes he's like I think they need to be for seven years like have like okay we're gonna get we're gonna agree to spend the next seven years with each other and at the end mm, of seven years then let's reevaluate long. yeah because yeah. too long uh, well I mean uh, after like most relationships <laughs> end at around like like six to seven years don't worry I've only made it to three and a half so yeah I think it's yeah not even a half yeah, well, we'll get it we'll get into the stories um, okay, yeah. um, so we've got one yeah, we've just got right. a just one. I'm getting married with a huge question mark secret question mark. Oh. Hi Queens and tediously. <laughs> someone no. someone called him that 10 episodes ago and it rings in my brain every time I listen. Fair. 
Tedious Lee is such a funny nickname. <laughs> honestly, fair. So I, honestly, I like that one. Tedious Lee is really funny. Okay, not that being the one time where I go, don't call him that. I know. <laughs> yeah, that one really gets Yeah, that you. one got you sad. I, I was like, no. You want to call me P? I want to call, call you Lee. Lee. I want to call you yeah, fucking Lee. Really. Really. Hentai Lee. Was Hentai Lee. Really. Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Lee. Poo Poo, but yeah. like, oh. Tedious Lee. I'm like, we have Tedious to have Lee. a fucking line the same. Oh my God, I figured out that Lee's middle name starts with a T, so his name is Leet. Leet. It, it's, Leet it's, Nason. It's tedious Lee. It's Lee, Lee Tedious. tedious. Yeah. Lee. Lee Tedious okay. Nason. Lee. So, hey, hey Queens and T Tickly. and Leet. So, I'm going to sound like a real dog shit person, and I know I am. So, I'm getting married in a month to the most gentle and kind man to exist. Speculative, but I sure think so. Okay, so he we've got self-awareness. In a month. Okay, they're getting married in a month. Our relationship is great. We've watched each other grow so much, and we have built a great life together. However... I'm going to the altar with a secret. A secret doesn't even really feel like the right way to put it. I'm just going to spell it out in plain English to stop rambling. Thank you for spelling it out in plain English. Okay. Um, I wanted because that, that is the only. Yeah, I was thinking I wanted it in Mandarin, but thank you. Yeah, German maybe. Yeah, German Egyptian. would be nice. Uh, we met and fucked on the first date. Whatever, no biggie. Until about a week later, I got a little drunk and all of a sudden felt a lie just fly out of my fucking mouth. Oh God. I told him I was a virgin when we met. <laughs> Why? 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 Neither of us are the type to care about that sort of thing. And no, I, but sometimes you get nervous and you just say shit. She just wanted to say some shit. <laughs> and I previously had told him the truth when we first met, that I had a body count of two. Okay, what? so you went back and you said, and then you, okay. I couldn't take it back or play it off as a joke in the moment, but I never react. I never retracted it. Not in the moment. Not ever. I don't think I ever can. He didn't particularly give a fuck when I told him. He wasn't dismissive, but wasn't shitting his pants either. He brings it up once in a blue moon or two, <laughs> joking about how he took my virginity on the first date and now I'm stuck with him forever. <laughs> there has never been an, an advantageous time to correct this. I almost wish Take it that I had days. a lying problem so that I could be like, hey, so I need to make some amends to you that I've lied about X, Y, Z and the virginity thing. Okay, so you've got other secrets. <laughs> That's what that's what makes us so fucking weird is I'm not like some weird histrionic pathological liar or anything. I just got drunk one night and lied about something fucking whack and out of pocket and now I'm marrying this person. It's giving Scamanda. This lie is crushing me <laughs> to a point where I'm not inviting a longtime friend to our wedding because she has no filter and loves to take the piss out of me and I'm certain she would get drunk and make mention of an embarrassing sex story of my past because she has done it before and then boom secret is out wedding is ruined that sounds extra fucked up dude you have Ooh, you should you tell him at dug, the wedding you have dug yourself a hole a mm -hmm. web of lies anyway I'm sure this has disgusted y'all thoroughly no we okay not is really. it bad that it really has it really hasn't it's, it's made me think of you as like an endearing like per, per, the fact that person. it's bothering you so much it's, is it's, it's so funny I think funny, it's very though. sweet yeah. yeah but that's my wedding prompt response and I'm taking this shit to tea time and then to my grave <laughs> bye I love to tea time as like as if there's like not a bunch of listeners no but low key this has turned into confessional it has real. and I love it and I love the podcast and I binge listen to the backlog episodes. Okay, I love that. While I wait for my darling fiance, who I love, but I'm lying to. <laughs> Why? Hardly, hardly. No, no, here's the thing. Work. She told him that she had a body count of two and then she told him she was a virgin and then he chose to believe the virgin story. He did. So really it's on him. Yeah. He, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. He And also he didn't question it. Like that's on him. And I'm sorry, sometimes, sometimes a little lie slips from our lips <laughs> okay that is a really i have like i have one like that too Stop. do you with your current with my current boyfriend uh, and i like and it's like not even a big deal but it's just like it's one of those things it's like, like those like little right like, away yeah and you're kind of like why did i well okay because i got um you know like i've gotten my freckles tattooed and mm -hmm. he like when we first met our first date he was like are those your real freckles and i was like yeah and like to Stop. this day i've just been like how do i tell him that they're not Stop. real cuz one day i'm going to go want to get them retouched and then i'm going to have to like and hi like know i don't know what to do and i can't yeah. bring it up now you know <laughs> i don't know what to do well now he knows this is That's what you do too you funny. say it on your podcast well, he yeah, doesn't listen because, well all his friends well, do, he but, doesn't uh, listen. But true I and mean, i don't know why i lie i mean i do have real freckles but i do get them also tattooed 
And um, I don't yeah. have this issue. I don't blurt out lies. I don't know. It was just like such a stupid. <laughs> but, I think I was embarrassed to be like, no, I get them tattooed. I, it comes it was from such a place. Like an, it's like a weird, it's embarrassing so thing to admit. Yeah. It was on a first date and I was just like, yeah, they're real. That's yeah. so funny. I'm cute, natural. Yeah, no. I paid like 400 bucks. I have stupid fucking. No, they're not 400, but <laughs> yeah. 399. But um, I. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, how do I ever break it? Because I, if I do that, I okay. So I should correct myself. I again, I do will do that maybe, but then I will immediately correct myself because if I know that I lied, I like cannot sleep at night. Yeah, it, like would fucking kill me. Yeah, I like feel so guilty lying. So what I don't about know why. the freckle tattoo? If somebody asked you, would you be like, no, they're fake? I mean, like if I accidentally said, yeah, I would just say. No, they're not. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. See, now it's too late. <laughs> but it's too late now. It's, now. Now it's been yeah, six yeah, months. Yeah. I can't be like, hey, <laughs> it's been on my mind. Or you can just go get them and be like, I just want to. You to know, touch them up. Yeah. This, no, this is new. This is such I've a never new done thing. this before. What do you think about this? Yeah. yeah. You True. tell them and then b- you immediately. Okay, not lie. me assisting in the lie. Yeah. Here's what it is. <laughs> I think it can be, I like. I don't know. I, I really do think it can be endearing to just own up yeah. to your shit. And because because at the end of the day, we're all fucking deeply flawed and human. And we all do weird fucking shit. Like, okay, like, okay, you don't so lie. Weird. But like, I'm sure you do something else that's like, oh, well, you know, I got my ex's uh, thing on a butt plate. I tell other people lies. And I don't keep secrets. That's what it is. Um, yeah. yeah. Honestly, a better life, though. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's like, I think there's something endearing to just being like, you know what? I was nervous and I kind of felt awkward. And yeah, this that. is a funny one to tell your husband because like here's the thing like if he really like you guys really love each other and everything I'm sure if you brought it up one day and you're like I have been sitting on this forever you would he'd probably laugh at it and you'd be yes. able to have like a funny conversation here's, and it would be a relief totally right but here's the thing y'all let's take a group like temperature read do y'all think she should confess I honestly do if it's fucking her up this badly. Yeah, if, if, if she can't, if she's losing sleep over it. Yeah. Definitely. In the grand scheme, I don't think it's something you need to confess. But if it's weighing this heavy where you're like, oh my God, I, I need to purge this. Yeah. yeah. Honey, release the, the yeah. you know. Because I think it would be like a funny conversation to have to be like, I don't know why I lied about this. And I know you don't care. Yeah. And I think it, I think there's a sweetness to it to be like, there is. I, yeah. I, I've yeah, been keeping so this cute. huge secret from you and it's eating me up. And you know, maybe pitch right. it a little bit better because then he's going to think that you cheated. But no, then, you got to build it up to make it sound like you cheated or something. And then it's just this tiny little line. Okay, like, Paris. Oh, you, and you only okay. have a body count of three, but you're a virgin anyway. You uh, that are legally a virgin. is a virgin, yeah. I think, and, a virgin. by our yeah. standards. Yeah. 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 Her hymen had resealed. It absolutely has. Very much yeah. resealed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, ready to go. That's just science, though. Like, you can't can't argue with science. Literally. Okay, wedding story. Bride's mom slut shames a child. (gasps) Love. Hi, honkers and LeBanc. Let's not waste time with this cunt of a bride's mom, so I'll get straight to it. I was asked to be a bridesmaid in a friend's wedding. At the bridal shower, I met the bride's mom for the first time. Flashback, I hooked up with the bride's cousin a few years back when I was 17 and he was 19. It's giving statch. He had snuck me into his aunt's house, which is the bride's mother's house, so we could hook up, right, but we were caught on their doorbell camera. Okay. This guy ended up... Okay. Oh. And there it is. Because <laughs> it wouldn't, it wouldn't their... be tea time if there wasn't a rape story. Um, okay. this... On the doorbell camera. Yeah. Okay. Ding dong. Okay. This guy ended up me the next time I saw him, okay. but I remained friends with the bride. Okay. So the bride's mom found out I was the sneaky link. And when I met her at the bridal shower, she says, oh, you're fake name big titty betty you're the one that had sex in my house and this is her son the, was the sex the no it's her nephew or niece or something okay yeah because they were cousins right okay gab are you caught up i'm really keeping i'm a little yeah, confused. Is, is it a sneaky link if it's assault can can i say something yeah no is. okay it's not what the fuck is this i thought that a sneaky link was an only fans no sneaky link <laughs> is like a like a side piece. A side yeah. piece, a situation like ship, a sneaky, sneaky. like, like secret. Sneaky link, yeah. Yeah. Well, we use it as like, here's my sneaky link. It's, yeah, okay. it's a, it's a gotcha. double entendre. Wow. Uh, okay, it's good. Okay, Mr. July. Hot Dog. You just came <laughs> okay. through. But, Speechless. But okay, so she was 17. She came into the house. They had sex. That was. Sorry, consent. and this is the bride's cousin? Yes. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Got it. And okay. then the next time they had sex, it, he. 
liked her. Got it. Yeah. And also lovely. 19 and yeah, 17. Good story. Yeah, good, okay. good. Um, oh, no. Um, Big Titty Betty, you're the one that had sex in my house. This is in all caps. Me being me, I brushed it off, getting obviously uncomfy and tried to steer the conversation away. I know she was straight up blasted drunk, but I don't give a fuck. This woman screamed that out in front of everyone to hear. This woman ends up... So that's, that's kind of... mortifying. You know what it is? It's conversational. So that's where the son got it from. Um, this yeah. woman ends up cornering me with her two old ass best... No, oh. that's giving West Side Story now. With her two old ass <laughs> besties to confront me and two other bridesmaids about my sexcapade. The mom exclaimed, did you know she had sex with my nephew in my house? God to which, forbid someone have sex bitch. in that house. Yeah, are you jealous? Okay. She to is. which she I said- jealous because she wanted to fuck her nephew. Literally. Obviously. No, because, okay. To which I said, yeah. mm, I was also 17, so- Ended up having to tell the bride that if her mom didn't chill out, I'd have to tell her mom that her nephew raped me. Uh. Anyway, sorry if this is too long. And I had to write in about the slut shaming of a child. Best wishes to you all. Your, uh, you cutesy cutes smooches. Okay, smooches That's to you. That's not where sweet. I thought that story was going to go. No. Who the fuck is that confrontational? Crazy to where they people? would see them like years later. Was it years later, right? Yeah. And yeah, it was like, year, yeah, years that later. Mad crazy. Still? People are so crazy. And also, you had sex in my house. Bitch, it's a house. You want them to go do it outside yeah, the front what? yard? Yeah, I thought he, she was going to say that he, she got on like the front patio. When parents can't handle their kids growing up into actual fucking people. Right. Like today, I think we had a really cute conversation about how you like you're really enjoying the kid, like the your um, your kids personalities, how they're mm -hmm. how they're starting to shape up. They're still obviously very young, but you know what I mean? Like, I think that's like a beautiful thing. And then this and also you raised a rapist. No, well, wait, no, it's that's his aunt, though, right? It's his aunt. Yeah, it's not her. Their that's the nephew. Okay, well, we I just got really, confused. It's very complicated. Whoa. This it's is some backwards bullshit. This is like, some, okay, some it's, giving woman, it's, it's giving it's giving that woman was right. way too mad about Tennessee this. Yeah. yeah, why was she then she so really upset. probably did want to fuck the nephew? She did. She was jealous. She was so she jealous. She got cheated on she because hurts. the nephew and her were dating, and that girl didn't know it. Yeah. And so she was mad because she got cheated on, but she wasn't going to say that in front of her gal pals. Yeah, she wasn't going to say that in front of her fucking gal pals. That's so true. Happy it's like Fourth Frankie of July. And, what's that show? Frankie and Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie. It's a very Grace and Frankie situation. Paris, do you want to read a story? Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, oh, it's so long. We'll see. It's given the Odyssey. Okay, are we ready? Literally. My bi ex husband is getting married to another woman. Hey, guys. Not too long ago, I wrote to you for the open marriage prompt, and I talked about my first ex-husband and his bisexuality. We'll mm -hmm. call him Chris here. The other day, I got a text message from my friend. Don't know if I should say the real name. In this, we'll, we'll say N. In the state where my ex still lives. Okay, so she got a text from N who lives in the same state as her mm -hmm. ex. Are we all on the same page? Okay. Yeah, okay. she got a text from a friend. Yeah. Okay. Who lives in the yeah, same state? Okay. Okay. It read, I was your friend first and I will love you most. Okay. Oh. While Perfect. this is true, Chris and N kept in touch and she was his house sitter for a little while. That's, okay. That's sweet, I thought. But no. what is she talking about? That's cryptic. I scrolled up on her messages and there was one I had missed. She got a wedding invitation from Chris and her mom told her it would be rude to go. At this point, Chris and I had been divorced for nearly a decade. I don't have any feelings for him, but thinking about this, I realize that I have a lot of anger about our marriage. Having not heard from him for a really long time, I asked who he was marrying. N told me it was Sarah from HR. Not Sarah from HR. <laughs> It's His always Sarah HR. from HR. Can we just be original for once in our fucking always lives? Sarah from She's HR. the human resources person? Yeah. yeah. No moral conscience. So, okay, <laughs> they get divorced, blah, blah, blah. She's fine. Then her friend texts her and she's like, okay, I'm just letting you know I'm choosing you over yes. going to his wedding. And yes. she's like, what the fuck's going mm -hmm. on? Okay, okay, got it. His HR. Sarah was a coworker of his before we met and started dating. He also Snake started dating her within a few weeks of me moving out of the state. Ooh. Sketch, sketch. And yeah. There it I is. know because I started getting texts from my friends about seeing them together around around together. Okay. To be most mild about it, the messages were not complimentary to each other's to each one's appearance at the time, which of course everyone loves to hear. Wait, Wait what? I'm what so sorry, mean? you guys. Let's run that back. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. The messages. What's going on? One second, because what's going on? I was what? just playing around with Oh, okay. Lee's, Lee's excited. Okay, it's Lee's Molly's zooming in, in on my tits right well, now. It's I the 4th of July. <laughs> okay. And it's the 4th of July. All right, Lee, if you want to zoom in, <laughs> zoom in. Oh my just God. whatever. But okay, let's get focused. So okay. everything She's you just said gave me a seizure. to be tasteful. She's saying the messages were not complimentary to each other's appearance at the time. What does that mean? I think that means Th- like, were they dude, your pictures? ex. I think she means like people were like, texting her saying, I saw your ex and he looks like shit. Okay. Which is the best thing that you could ever see. Why is that hear. written like? I don't know. She's because being, she she's being modest experience. about it. She's being yeah, modest, and modest. you and I only know how to speak like brute. So we're yeah. like, no insult. We don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. but, okay. Say he looks like yeah. a, de- a degenerate thumb. Okay. You know, I can't decide if it's more hurtful that an ex goes on a date. Oh, goes on a date with someone hotter than you or someone less hot. What do you guys think? Oh, I see what she's saying. Okay. She's, it would make you feel better I, if they went on a date with somebody less hot. Really? Okay. Yes. If Shocked I was, you were saying this right now. I would right not want to see my ex with somebody hotter than me. I'd be like, God damn it. No, see, if I saw someone less hot than me, I'd be like, what, am I as ugly as she is? No, see. <laughs> no, because I would know I wasn't. I would know I wasn't. That's self-confidence. And, interesting. Yeah, my, mm-hmm. A couple of my exes now, I, one of them has a cute girlfriend. I'm like, okay, I get it. And you want to be the cutest. Yeah, I want to be the cutest. My most recent I ex be does in, not have a cute ex. I want to be in the one. like group of cute girls. I follow, I became like, I, I not friends, acquaintances with one of my exes' exes because we went through something very similar together. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. And like, when I finally like looked at her page, I was like kind of taken, I was like, Oh, she's really pretty. I was like, okay. And it it pisses of, you off. You're like, it, you're not supposed to have fun. I, I, yeah, you're because hot, of, I'm touching your chest a lot, just the, thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. it's just kind of like, oh my out. heavens, oh my heavens. No, because I'm giving very much Ursula with this necklace. Yeah. And so I'm kind of like, oh. Yeah, but, no, you're supposed to be the hottest one they've ever dated. That's the rule. But then once you get your self esteem up, you go like, okay, even bad, like, all of us can be baddies and these yeah. fucking gutter rats just come and slither in on our weak spots. That's true. You're being you're being a woman ally right now. As Taylor Swift mm-hmm. once said, another uh, person's beauty is not a lack of your own. Okay. There you go, T-Swift. Whoa. No, you want him to date the really hot girl. And then what you do is that you follow her on Instagram and then you become BFs. No, literally. <laughs> and then you become best friends and then you eat her pussy and then you steal her from him. This is deranged. And now that's here's the thing, Paris. the real thing you do. I didn't follow through with the last part, but and that's I know she's bi and I should have. So fuck. <laughs> and that's the real thing you yeah, do. Yeah, that's what you do. You steal the girl from the guy. I do like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cunt. And then everybody clowns on the guy. That's very cunt. That's it very is, pussy. It gives cunt. It's 100%. very glam. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got... It's the so 4th of July. Sarah from HR. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now just getting okay. to a K-hole. Okay. I'm a little bit annoyed that he's marrying Sarah from HR. <laughs> Looking back and putting it all together, I feel misled. During the discussion of opening our marriage, I asked him if he'd ever had feelings for someone else during our relationship, and he said yes. But it was Aww. brief and past. It was Sarah from HR the whole time. Aww. That I know of. He never dated a woman during our open marriage. There were a few women he probably could have dated, but Sarah from HR was not in the picture. To briefly digress, I saw an online clip from a divorce you know. lawyer. He said that women will ask for a divorce after thinking about it for a long time and usually go on to be single and work on herself and her goals. Men will initiate divorce if they know that they have another woman in pocket. Okay, this is so petty and funny. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> well, where did you see this online clip from? Like TikTok? Facebook? Or our <laughs> yeah, uh, comedian happening? Michael Longfellow. He His dad is a divorce lawyer and he's been married like five times okay. or something. Oh, that might yeah, be that, it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, when Chris and I were working through our open marriage, he didn't want to split until one day he suddenly did. Hmm. He'd had Sarah in his fucking pocket, My speculation... Bitch. Okay, first of all, girl, you're spending way too much time trying to solve this mystery. That's that's on Polly Pocket. Yeah, Polly Pocket. Yeah. My speculation is that Sarah from HR was not an option for a Polly relationship because she's more traditional. Mm, of course she there is. There you go. She's Sarah and she fucking had that HR. fucking... Yeah, okay. And she <sighs> would have turned it down. Boring. So the opportunity to date her was moot. I hate that word. I don't I, that's know a wild why word. I just said it. 
I hate That's, the word moot. I, and I, also, I don't like it. I hate uncomfy. That shit makes me livid. Really? I don't know there's, why. Like, there's like an itch. I, that, or, or, uh-uh. or like, like there's just like, say like, uncomfortable. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, I'm like, like mm, that just makes I hate, me uncomfy I hate how you sexually assaulted me like that. Uncomfy. Like it's cute. <laughs> okay, not you mocking the last story. <laughs> no. Then, no, I was okay. and I was not. No, no, no. Oh shit, I was. <laughs> and I didn't even realize it. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, love you. Okay. <laughs> Don't don't be mad. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. No, we all have our triggers. Yeah. Oh, Pierce, don't blush. It's okay. Am I? God, yeah. I'm such an easy tell. What the fuck? Am I really? Blushing, <laughs> dude. Guys love to point that out when we're like making out or something, or if I'm like nervous, they'll be like, "Oh, you're blushing," and I'm like, "Please don't okay, ever don't say fight. that." Okay, and then say like you're literally a rapist. So stop. Okay, <laughs> yeah. and I'll be like, "Well, your dick." That's is how small. I flirt. I just told men that's that why I'm rapist. blushing. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that I have to suck your tiny dick. Yeah. <laughs> There okay. it is. There it is. And then you okay. use teeth. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, you use teeth on purpose. And then she uses poor girl teeth. Okay, I'm like being feral today. I need to calm down. So she's thinking that he left her for Sarah because Sarah wasn't going to be Polly because she had that ironclad gold pussy that she wasn't going to spread for anybody. She, does, she has that virgin girl pussy. Yeah, she was like, I know my she worth. She has the girl yeah, from the last stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She was Puss. like, Polly, what? They're no, all thank tying you. In together. Yeah. Okay. It's good app. Where are they getting married? Not the metropolis we lived in. A small town in the south. A town that has eight churches. Why do you know it has eight churches? She's doing her research, girl. Has he ever been religious as an adult? Girl, okay. Not during our time together. Like, who is he? I was married to that guy. Who was he? Last time I wrote, I guess he was in the back back in the closet. But this is upsetting. I was kind of hoping Sarah from HR was a bicycle hipster who was into bi dudes with floppy haircuts. No. I know exactly the type yeah. you're talking about. I guess not. I told N I wanted her to go to this wedding. I want the juice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're torturing yourself. I want to yeah, see how right. expensive this wedding is compared to the one we had. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, where we compromised on everything and obviously I'm still resentful. I want to know about the food, the flowers, the music, where they Girl, get, a drone. get married, whether they get married at sunset, <laughs> a drone. Get a drone. Just literally, Gabby, a all the reasons Fuck, to get a so drone. I couldn't even react to it. Yeah, that was <laughs> get, a drone. get a drone. Get a drone. And drone Finally. the wedding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The exactly. wedding's at the end of the summer and barely goes to anything she's invited to, so she probably won't be rolling out the skims for this one. No, tell her oh, I'll skims. update if she does. As always, thanks for reading. I want to know what happens at this okay. fucking wedding. You no, we do yourself. not want to know. But now I'm invested. No. No. You do Girl, not. She put in no. all that work for, come on, it can't be for nothing, right? Stay unhealthy till the end of the summer. He Have like a healthy girl fall, but let us right back in and let us know what you find out on your drone. Yeah. No, I, I understand. I see how like this is I understand where she's coming from because sometimes you put in so much emotional energy for a relationship and a man and then they to for it to not work and then they go off and have this easy peasy right. breezy fucking thing with the new girl. You live it. Literally. Actually, oh my God, my wedding story is that the last I have five exes now that have married the girl after me. Oh my no, god! I saw that on your close else. friends. I just found out my ex from 2020 married the girl after me, and it is number five. Does that bother you? Yeah, it yeah. really fucking bothers me. But it bothers me because I'm mad at myself because I fucking do all this work to like train these men to be mm-hmm. but that, actual maybe humans. that's what the problem is no yeah I don't do that anymore I don't fucking uh, no I don't more put dating any potential yeah. no no yeah no dating potential but like I see how you do the work she for them put in so much new. emotional labor like even opening up a marriage is like so challenging when you've been monogamous for so long and like then to see him just like go off and like all of a sudden like they're probably not poly either they're probably like monogamous probably and, yeah I feel like be... though she's saying that he's bi like I feel like this is like the classic story of a guy who's probably closeted and doesn't is like too scared to be out so now yeah. he's safe with this like little Christian bitch but and... wait wasn't he out of the closet when they were dating yeah yes. but because it didn't work out maybe he just like okay. I, I don't know has like some internalized homophobia then goes back to like, oh, let's go be safe in my little Christian that town. That is so annoying. Here's the thing. Yeah, I can see. Obviously, right? like, bi guys are a real thing. But I think the thing that gets... Okay, now you're shaking your head. But the thing... <laughs> I, that's all I've ever dated. I hate it. Wait, really? Yes. They all are bi, which... Really? Honestly, yeah. I've only... It's weird. Hooked up with one, technically one and a half. Really? But yeah. What? Yeah. I must be a magnet for bi guys. You must be. I don't think I've ever dated one, at least not openly. Damn. I like bi yeah. guys and bi girls. 
Yeah, you were saying that in the bathroom this I morning. Know. You were, we're saying getting sidetracked. Sorry, but yeah, no, I'm it's okay. Only attracted. I think I'm only attracted to bi girls. It's really fucking. Oh, that annoying. makes sense. Why? Well, like, <laughs> I feel like most women we've talked about it on here, but I feel like most women are bi, and also it's like that's that's like cool. Yeah, I guess I don't know why I'm attracted to bi girls. I think it's because I like pillow princesses. Yeah, you don't like it. <laughs> oh my you don't god, like, like a hammer. And, and like bi girls that lean more straight are right. kind of like I'll kiss the girl, but I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really like the super ultra feminine girls. Yeah, she's not giving she's not giving a fucking hammer dyke, dude. Yeah, ah! I'm the, okay, yeah, I'm yeah, the hammer dyke. And see, so you're not a hammer dyke. So I that's look a, at my pants. I got cargo pants. That's on. just like a cute girl. You outfit. are. Like you're giving you're pants. giving cute masks. No, everyone thinks it's so weird that I'm like the top. Like I am the dominant one. Can I say something? No, you really do give top i give mask top yeah you give top okay, i'm glad you see it i give bottom interesting but... are you what really oh my god okay yeah. i would have guessed that you were a top too really yeah no no huh. not wait, no 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 really yeah okay so you want a girl to like take take she wants a hammer charge dyke. of you <laughs> you do you want a hammer okay dyke. no i'm blushing i know because okay. you know what that's no, true i want to yeah i'm attracted to the girly girls and then i want to be the one with the dick yeah okay. no you're attracted and I'll never to have fucking it. What's up, guys? <laughs> no, you. no, because I tried that one time and that was actually too much because I was like, she actually was about to morph actually into a bulldog and I was like, I need you to get away from me. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. And that's on the one that okay, pushed me sorry, the stairs, I got but... you so sidetracked. No, I think this is good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that this girl, I understand where she's coming from, but I think you're giving it way too much energy and you should not care about him anymore. He can go live his stupid life. Like, don't worry about yourself. Because he's also probably sucking dick behind trees. Let's yeah, be honest. This guy yeah. is out it's, sucking yeah. off dudes. No, Nothing he's right. decided that he's going to go back into his little corner. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's not ready to be a big, a big strong man. Yeah, <laughs> literally. So, you're better okay, off. Not a big, so just man. like yes you need to like love yourself and worry about yourself and like don't give this stupid guy any more but energy. i do get like the i do get the like curiosity that kind of insane curiosity where you're like well now i need to fucking know what's going on yeah i don't know <laughs> me yeah. being like i can't relate when i've done that every single yeah. relationship <laughs> i mean it's so easy from the outside to be like no just drop it but like yeah oh my god no it is it is very easy from the outside but also with like mm -hmm. having access to everyone's social medias it's mm -hmm. like a fucking drug well, like she said too that she was like over it but then she like hurt like you know right it opens up the thing again and you're like well, what the fuck you know that was me with the fifth married ex the other day like i, I found out he got married and then i was like wait a second what yeah dude <laughs> i'm like waiting for my exes to start having kids None of them have had kids yet. And I do yeah. wonder if it's going to like make me a little bit like, what the fuck when they start having them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm calling know. the police on one of your exes when he has kids, but a scootily Literally too. which one? I don't even know which one. Long haired, but that's okay. But here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably infertile. Okay. And fingers crossed. Um, yeah, honestly. Fingers crossed. Okay. Can I read one? Please. Yes. Okay. Lee, don't sit like that. Okay. Uh, Fourth of July. Okay. Fourth of July. Okay. Dude, okay. All right. For those of you that are just listening, Lee <laughs> okay. has now put a hot dog inside both of his short oh legs. And they're, they're his sh yeah. And yeah, they're, yeah. they're coming yeah, okay. out of his shorts. And that's on Relish. Start your okay. Own OnlyFans page. A fourth of July. Okay. Wedding. My mom put me in $70,000 worth of debt. Oh, nice. Mommy. Hi, honks. And Pee-poo-lee. <laughs> Not the glasses no. back on. Fourth of July. Okay. Not pee-poo-lee. <laughs> pee-poo-lee. As soon as I saw this wedding prompt, I almost fell over trying to get to my email fast enough. Oh, my enough. God. Okay. Okay, well, you can thank Miss Paris Bush for this. <laughs> for starters, my mom is pretty insane. I'm right there with you, girl. Insane. I'm the only girl and the youngest with three brothers. And let's just say she always wanted the perfect princess. I'm not, by the way, but she continues to try even though I'm 30. Mm. But that's for that's for a mom drama prompt. Good idea. Let's oh, talk. Yeah, I know. Mom drama. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's talk about how she put me in extreme debt for the past few years. My mom has always had this perfect vision for me since the day I was born, and I fought against that every day. This vision included my wedding. I wasn't the girl that made Pinterest boards or dreamed of the perfect wedding. My mom, on the other hand, has been planning this wedding. Oh she... Um, since I freed myself from her hellish womb. <laughs> anyway, she hired this Indian wedding specialist. Neither me or my husband are Indian, by the way. 
But that's stop. The, and now I'm screaming. But that's the vibe she wanted. Oh, well, no, she no, pe- no, not vibe. Aesthetic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, she picked everything for the wedding and never asked me once what I actually wanted. She mm. would go to. She would go to hours and hours of meetings with this guy, and even had a custom Tiffany crystal table made. Okay. What? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> My invitations. Oh my god, your mom's so crazy for this. My invitations were carved in glass. No. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. What's going on? Okay. Had a custom Tiffany crystal table made. My invitations were carved in glass and sent out to my over 500. Okay, it's giving Narnia. What's going on? Oh my <laughs> god. Like, what the hell? You are that... one lucky bitch. I know. It's good. okay. Like, With a mom never. like that, my mom would send people a fucking pack of cigarettes and be like, "Hey, come <laughs> if you want." Do you say <laughs> glass? Yeah, invitation and gr- grave. Yeah, like yeah. engraved glass. Yeah. That's insane. Also, then what are people supposed to do with that for the rest of their lives? Just be like, okay. That is the most extra thing I've ever so Cut extra. cheese on it or something. <laughs> like what? Yeah. Make a charcuterie board on the Not the mom the making glass. this entirely about Thing herself. about her because moms be doing that. Yeah, it's okay. That's amazing. My mom would probably hit whoever, whoever I was about to marry with a hammer and then try and marry me instead. <laughs> she would. Yeah, she and would dress it up in like, their clothes. And it would be yeah. like a reveal. So like she would have a wig on and I would get to the altar totally. and then my mom would turn around and be like, it's me. No, Stop. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, dude. I ate you at one time and now you ask for the world. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> That's <laughs> so true. Okay. Okay, no, I, I don't even know your mom. You guys, I'm like, so <laughs> true. Okay. <laughs> And that's on Munch. Okay. Um, it's actually not. And I need to be actually put out. Okay. Mm-hmm. My invitations were carved in glass. I can't. And sent out to my over 500 people guest <gasps> list. Sounds like a nightmare. And yes, yes, over 500 people attended the wedding. How do you know 500 fucking people? Okay. Y'all had like a city town, no, like a fucking town hall meeting. People. Yeah, that's true. It's anyone she's ever met. Yeah. It's all of her mom's exes. Okay. Um, it all sounds beautiful, right? No, 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 it doesn't sound no. Beautiful. no. It maybe doesn't, if you are, where, where's the R word sound clip? Okay. Just kidding. Um, and, um, not me pretending like I've no. never said it. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, it sounds beautiful, right? Wrong. Completely wrong. Before, uh, the day before the wedding, I'm in the car with my mom and she gets a call from the planner. Turns out she never, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Turns out she never made a single payment to this wedding planner or the hotel. And because of that, the planner is no longer showing up for my wedding. No. Um, that was in less than 24 hours away. And the hotel is seconds from canceling. No. You would think that she would be crying or apologizing. No. She asked, well, what are you going to do? So 500 people have a place to go tomorrow. What am I going to do? I didn't even want any of this. All caps. Stop. That's Why did so- she pay? Because she's manipulative and she knew she couldn't pay. She just wanted her vision and she was going to go to whatever means necessary That's- to get it. Oh. And this is fucking. No. This is some Judge Judy small claims court. This is court. super villain. Yeah, you yeah. can take her to Judge Judy court. This is someone like this. no, literally it's more than small claims. Okay, big claims. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is someone like Tiffany's Batman needs to take court. out, like the Marvel Universe need to like team together and like take your mom out. Okay, this is whoa. Insane. Okay, um, this is long story short. My husband took out um oh honey no my husband took out a massive loan which On I couldn't spot. take out because my mom. No. Y'all, it keeps, I'm going to be honest. I only read half of this and the pictures were beautiful. So that's why I chose to read this. I didn't finish this. And oh, this I can't wait is a great plot photos. twist. Okay. Long story. Well, it's a horrible for you, but great for the uh, entertainment. Her um, mom was off fucking your trauma. Her but okay. <laughs> Long <laughs> oh story God. short, my husband, just get ready to shit. Long story short, my husband took out a massive loan, which I couldn't take out because my mom stole my identity when I was 18 and made it impossible to Ooh. open a bank account. Okay, your mom is okay, psychotic. She I needs do to know be in people jail. that have had that happen to them where their parents use their social security number and everything to open up bank accounts and it's shit. It's so, so sad. So this is so this fucked. woman is like this, this this woman is very sick. Um, a story for another day, honey. You're a wordsmith, so right back in. Um, she promised to pay us back. Well, that's not going to happen. She uh-huh. promised to pay us back, and we even made a payment plan with her. Well, she's paid less than a thousand dollars since our wedding in 2019. No, no. But we finished paying off the loan. Did you? Do- okay, but we finished paying off the loan for a few a few months ago, and she continues to act like it never happened. Ew. Oh my god. Oh well, my husband and I are happily married with two dogs, and the wedding was fine but nothing that I wanted Aww. if I could do it over it would be five people on top of a mountain and she wouldn't be there anyway love you guys in the pod started listening a few months ago immediately joined the Patreon thank you so much and binged every episode P.S. if you thought that that waxing hurt I'm getting laser treatment and it feels like they took my pussy off and put it oh, on the yeah. sun and no, put it back you. on my no, body not on the sun <laughs> love ya here are some pictures from my wedding can show just not on the public episode please okay well 
I'm just going to show yeah. them right now. So y'all can. Um, I, the, the wedding is beautiful. What's going on with your relationship with your mom is what I want to know. Yeah, I would love to know how that Aww. panned out. Get that bitch out of here. Okay, your wedding looks beautiful, though. Your wedding's beautiful. You're Wait, beautiful. Wait, I thought that was a woman. Um, okay, no, I'm screaming. She's saying that her husband looks like a woman. Um, <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah, the, the color scheme is beautiful. Wait, I want to see the damn That's crystal. A, okay, that was a beautiful wedding. I know. Okay, your crazy mom. At least she did pop off and get you guys some cute pictures. Um, but yeah, yeah y'all need to have thousand dollars boundaries. Dude. There's some really that is wild that your mom has no boundaries. Your mom has zero boundaries. Doesn't and this like fuck. you guys got married in the Sistine Chapel. Like that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they really did. This is and the like some Anna Delvey shit cute. right I here. Know. Yeah, this it is, is definitely Anna Delvey. Oh yeah, you She's and your like, husband hey, are yeah, so okay cute. Your dress is beautiful. The color scheme. I don't know who picked that out. Probably not you, but it's cute. I like the color scheme. I know. I, I really cute. like the color scheme, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Who she definitely had no say. I don't understand why like an Indian wedding. That also doesn't look Indian. And the Indian wedding planner wanted to do something a little more American. And yeah. at this point, I'm screaming. He needed to diversify his portfolio. Okay. <laughs> I ate your cake, bitch. Oh, damn. <laughs> This is I'm so, sorry. Wait, what, wait, one more time. I ate your cake, bitch. That's what I thought you said. Okay. Cake, this is cake. so mean. I'm sorry in advance. Okay. My cousin started dating this girl he went to high school with during his junior or senior year. Her okay. name is Stephane. No. no. Well, here's the thing. I already hate this. No, no this is Stephanie. not a typo. <laughs> no, this is not a typo. <laughs> that sounds like one of your fucking Stephane. STDs, but not, not Stephane. <laughs> it's Stephane. And MJ. Wait, what is it? MJen. MJen and Stephane. My entire family hated her, but at first we couldn't pinpoint why. <gasps> she was rude and weird and just the stupidest girl I've ever met. I swear she had an IQ of like negative five. Spending more than two minutes with her made me want to gouge out my eyes with a grapefruit spoon. Okay, Unrelated. Specific. She was one of those knee brace bitches and also couldn't swallow pills. So she would take liquid Vicodin. Wait. Also, what? I you didn't even know they learning, made liquid we're Vicodin. So much yeah. information. Those knee brace bitches? You know, she's like always has like a torn ACL or some shit. So she's always walking around. Because she's so athletic. Yeah, she just always has a knee brace. Those okay, girls are I was, so Brooks, sneakers. I was picturing like yeah. Forrest Gump. When no, no, a no. She's got just a fucking knee brace. She's always playing sports and pulling something. Hilara. She couldn't swallow <laughs> pills. So she would take liquid Vicodin. Also, who. <laughs> It's Who's giving, needing to be it's on giving that much? Halara. Yeah, Jesus. Very much is. Okay, this <laughs> happened during Thanksgiving dinner at my mom's house. Anyway, he dropped out of an expensive culinary school in Cape Cod to be with her. Mm -hmm. They got engaged with a doctor who, with a doctor who rang from Hot Topic. What? Oh, a doctor who rang. With a Doctor Who oh, ring. Oh, they got engaged with the Doctor they Who got ring yeah, from they, Hot Topic. They got engaged with the Doctor Who ring from Hot Topic that didn't fit her. That no, is so white no, trash. No, 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 no. no. And started living together at her mother's house. They even adopted this mangly, half hairless mutt and named her Wishes. Okay, well, don't bring the dog into this. Okay, mangly not kid. mangly mutt named Wishes. Now, Stephane's <laughs> social like, media. Wait, how do you spell Stephane? S T E F A I N E. Stephane. Okay, not I you need to know how it's pronounced. St There's no way. Stephane. How else do you pronounce that? Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> I don't know. It's just trashy, a trashy way to spell Stephanie. I love that Lee's going to look up. He's going to look it up first Steph right yeah, now. That's Stephanie. not a real name. Unless so it's, it's not Stephanie. Be there. Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. I, wait, which is worse, you guys? Sound off right now. Stephanie or yes. Stephane? Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie sounds like you were a vampire. Yeah, how do you... It's how gotta do you be Stephanie. It? I no, cannot... Stephane is definitely a name. Stephane. What? All right, yeah. her name's okay. Stephane. Not me sweating. Hey. Okay, okay, so. Me too. No, this is a huge red flag. Now, Stephane's social media of choice was Facebook. Oy, oy, red oy, flag. Oy, oy. So she's a white nationalist. Oh she was God. constantly Anyone? spewing garbage Facebook. with each post. She became more unhinged. No. She was part of an M uh, she was part of every MLM known to man no. and always oh. promoted them. MLM? Multi-level marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, I always think pyramid. it means my life matters. I don't know why. That's I always so hear funny. That, but no, it's um, it's like Herbalife, you know? Yeah, like fucking or doTERRA. doTERRA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or like Mary Lulu, Kay. Like yes. what? Okay. What is the leggings no, one? Lularoe. I don't know that one. Lularoe is a big East Coast thing. Okay. It's huge. Yeah. It's girls. It's stay at home moms selling leggings from their house. That, yeah. It's usually no. that kind of shit. Yeah. Fun like funky print leggings. 
Herbalife yeah. is the biggest one. I remember growing up. I've never heard of that one. Really? Yeah. It's like protein shakes. It's so I fucked. Just know now it's like Bloom. I yeah. Think. Okay. That's like on Deterra, yeah. Okay. So she was uh, known to every MLM, known to man, and always promoted them. She's painting a really vivid photo, uh, yeah. picture in my head of this. She'd go off on weird rants about all kinds of things that pissed her off, trying to crowd front, trying to crowdfund shitty tattoos, and shared what? so many odd and sometimes offensive memes. Okay. So this girl's completely crowd- fucking conservative and weird and on Facebook. No. What and tattoo stupid. is she trying to crowdfund? I, I don't a, a fucking <laughs> Blue Lives Matter one. No. I can't get... Okay, I'm shook. She unironically <laughs> liked those t-shirts with the weirdest statements in like 12 different fonts that sounded something like, yeah, this is so funny. Sorry, I'm taken. My heart only beats for my crazy husband. Yes, I can no. see that. He has severe anger issues and IBS. He clogs our toilet and stinks up that. The way that you're writing this with venom and stinks up the house every day. He is no. perfect. He's a perfect mixture of warrior batshit no. insane. I love my stinky husband. Yes, he bought me this shirt. Stop. Oh my God. This fucking picture and you're you painting. you know they got bitch. it on Etsy. You know they did. Yeah. She saw that they, they handmade it. Yeah. yeah she, the- was on, she was on Facebook and she's like, oh my God, babe, this is us. It's like a Target shirt. Yeah. 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 Ew. yeah. 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 Where it has like, they always give like the last names and they're like, it's a Smith thing. My crazy family, you know? Yes. It's like, yeah. On their like little like coffee. Yes. And then they all wear them to Disneyland. Ew. My my ex girlfriend's mom would always buy her shirts like this. No, and she's like, I'm not gonna fucking wear this. And like, she has this one shirt. I would unhinged. die every time she would wear it. And it says, T- "Yeah, I know what I said. Take a screenshot. No. I ain't apologizing." It was like something like that. And I'm like, "Bitch, like you gotta wear it." So unhinged. just asleep. Okay, <laughs> just asleep. So then I could mess with it. Yeah, but. Uh- <laughs> So one day she linked a blog that she had created. I love this. Okay, because no. they always have a blog. Yeah. If they if they're on Facebook, I can't stop thinking about Scamanda. I know Scamanda. Okay, so good. no, because okay. I hate it. But okay, you haven't listened to it. It's so good. Okay, know, at one point in the said blog, Stefan admitted to cheating on my cousin, <laughs> as if all of his family and friends couldn't read it. Okay, Stefan's a fucking Stephane doesn't a1 know how idiot. Blogs work. Okay, this <laughs> no, is major Stefan energy. It is. <laughs> she made this visceral and disgusting manifesto public. Oh. My family just went in on her. The aunts and uncles bullied her so hard in the Facebook comments and anonymous, anonymously in the blogs. <laughs> Even after the blog fiasco, he didn't dump her. She must have had that fucking golden yeah. goose pussy. Gluck, gluck, 3,000. She had that gl- But you know what? It, you know she didn't either. You know that this bitch is not sucking dick. No. Bitches yeah, that act like too, just don't suck yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah, No, no, no. She, she's he, just a rat. And he's one of those guys that like doesn't like butts, you know? Yeah, he does Guys that don't like butt stuff. Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, he doesn't Ooh, like butts. Red okay. flag. That's another topic for another game. <laughs> okay, okay. So he didn't dump her. When they got married, the reception was dry. Oh, that's so annoying. Ew. I snuck a bunch of liquor in with my sisters and other cousins and got drunk anyway. That's so annoying. Why would you make a dry I wedding? I react just so hard to that. That's a, lo- that's a loser shit. There's... I'm fucking sober and I would I not have a dry really wedding. I don't even really drink. Yeah. <laughs> but like, God forbid they're How not How lame is that? Yeah, no just way. Just don't be super strict at your wedding. It's like really annoying. You're throwing a party. Just chill out. I have alcohol at my kids' birthday parties. Like, See? And that's a good mom. For the kids. Yeah. That's yeah. A good for mom. the kids to relax. Yeah. So, no, but making friends with kids is so hard. So yeah. You have they're to wound give up. Them vodka. Absolutely. Yeah. We put a little apple juice in it. Good. They're screaming. having a good time. Literally. But okay. They're, so you're a good host. And yeah. Stefan yeah. is. Not like other moms. I'm a cool mom. Yeah. I love that. Coder. Okay. So there was only one good thing about this wedding the cake. The matron of honor was a pastry chef. And right when I saw it, I knew it would be good. This girl went all out. It was a beautiful three-tiered masterpiece. One tier was red velvet. Another was lemon filled with homemade lemon curd. And finally, there was a chocolate cake with a French vanilla pastry cream peppered with bits of Oreos, all of them covered in a delightful Swiss. (laughs) Oh my God. The way this is written. Girl, this is so funny. All of them covered in a delightful Swiss Swiss meringue buttercream to look like a birch tree. Okay, you're giving writer. Like you're giving fucking writer. Yeah. On, okay, here's the thing. This of is giving David we always, we always encourage people to like heal and like forgive for you. But there's certain cases where stay unhealthy, stay broken, stay angry. I love the flowery writing. This is fucking fun. It's, yeah. Every time someone talks about food, I black out because I hate listening to people talk about food. Are you serious? Yeah. I hate cooking shows. I do too. <laughs> yeah. I can't do yeah. it. And whenever okay, I listen to people you. on podcast, when it, men always talk about food on yeah. podcasts. They always talk, yeah, oh man, I had the best burger. burger. down on 6th Street, man, man. when I went to Austin, I had the best ribs. You've been there? Literally. Oh yeah, man. I had those Ew. fries. Oh, with it. They Brisket. do they do love that. It. They love talking Ew. about food. Yeah, they do. All men talk about food on podcasts. It's food, acid, and yeah, Food, drugs, music. Yeah. 
man, I had this pie. You ever had one of those pies that's so crisp on the edges? And you dude, just... they put a raw egg in mine. It was actually crazy. Dude, I can't. Oh, that's, I am man, literally just When I went to Syracuse, I had the best damn nog. They just what's, shut the fuck up. So, dude. Honk, yeah. What's a nog? Eggnog. Okay. <laughs> best nog. Oh. Okay, when oh. I got here. Sorry, when I got here at the hotel breakfast, I was like, where the fuck are the grits? And then I was like, oh shit, we're no on the West here, Coast. Bitch. There's no grits no here. Grits. Not a damn grits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a grits place down. No, now USC. we're doing it. How do y'all live doing what? Talking oh, about shit, food. Oh shit, we are. Oh, oh, no. Okay, now we're a real podcast. Uh, uh, now we're talking shit. about food. Okay. Lee, what were you going to say? Fuck off about that. Oh, it's the 4th of July and you want a hot dog? Real, now where's the best dog in real town? Bad. Real bad. He wants a hot dog mm-hmm. real bad. You look like the 4th of July. All dudes, all dudes are just getting down on Nog. Yeah. <laughs> what, no one's yeah, ever, got literally oh, ever got that. No dude not him having his little glasses down back on. on. Nog. <laughs> all right, okay. So there, all right, all right, all right. Um, but, 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 um, one of them covered in delightful Swiss mango with buttercream. It looked like a birch tree. She even made it look like they carved their initials into the bark of the tree inside with a heart, which is super cute regardless of the fact that I saw stuff on the street. If I saw stuff on the street, I'd knock her last three teeth out. One so thing funny. about me, I'm going to eat. Oh. I'm going to eat. I love a good cake. I love sweets. I am a cake fiend, a connoisseur of baked treats. It was a pretty big cake, too. Plenty to go around. I think I had, like, three slices, one of each flavor. Okay. I was pretty drunk. I think this person could, like, win in a fight. She's it wild, doesn't matter yeah. with who. She's eating, as, she's eating cake as she's talking about as this, As she's just too. drop-kicking people. Yeah. yeah. Come here, bitch. I, uh, I was pretty drunk, I think. At the end of the wedding, there was still a lot of cake sitting on the table, neatly wrapped in saran wrap, unattended. I was like, fuck yeah, I'll take some to go. I put them in the back of my mom's car and helped them clean up. Steph was, slaving, Steph was saving those slices. She wanted to freeze them and eat them on their first anniversary. She decided to make a public rant on Facebook about the missing cake. I'm screaming. What? Bitching about how important it was for her. She was livid, stating, who stole my piece of cake? I want it back. Wait, what happened now? Because so- There was cake on the table yes, and saran wrap? So, so this girl wanted all this. She, there was all this cake left over in saran wrap. Yeah. And the girl who was eating the cake, who wrote the story and was like, oh, I'm going to take that fucking cake. Like, yeah. I'm going to take that home. But- Stefane was saving this for oh, herself Stephane. to eat on her anniversary. So then Stefane goes, where's my fucking cake? Goes on Facebook and goes, hey, I want my fucking cake back. <laughs> takes it to Facebook. Takes it to Facebook and says, Got hey, it. I want it back. Missing cake. Right. And even suggested they drive it back to her. Oh, wait. Did oh. she take the only piece? There was like a couple. She said there was still a lot of cake on the table, neatly wrapped in saran wrap, unattended. So for each anniversary. And she, just took, she only just took one of each flavor, though. That's what I thought she said. So she just says there was a lot of cake sitting on the table. I was like, fuck y'all, yeah, take some. So she just takes whatever cake. That sounds is left fair to over me. She's like wrap. taking some. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. Why is she so pissed about it? How yeah, did she okay. even notice? Okay. Okay. How did she even notice? But Stephane is Stephane's crazy. So Stephane's on the fucking case. Right. <laughs> so, but so she takes- Hot this, on the case. And that's on Cake Boss. <laughs> yeah. It is on Cake Boss. Okay, so even suggested they drive it back to her. She had barely even left the parking lot of the venue when she went off. Okay, so she notices this, then gets on Facebook while people are like probably still at the wedding. Stop. This is so funny. I caught wind of the post and immediately knew it was me. I was the culprit. I was the cake thief, the asshole who ruined her special day. (laughs) And I had two options. Come clean or let her stew and lament for eternity. Stew and lament. Absolutely. I, of course, (laughs) opted for the latter. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) She's never going to forget this. She's never. Finally, I had leverage. For what? I wasn't sure yet. I dedicated years of my life to making fun of her. I decided to tuck this little nugget of information into my pocket and save it for a rainy day. On your deathbed. I didn't know how or when it would come in handy, but I didn't tell a soul for over a year. They finally separated. Going uh, After going to couples therapy, Steph, of course, overshared online the entire time. No. She threatened to kill herself, oh. checked herself into the psych ward just to leave an AMA. All kinds of ridiculous shit. Wait, wait, wait. She checked into the psych ward and did an AMA. Wait, what is an AMA? Ask me, Ask me a question, like on, like on Instagram. Stop. Or like, oh, Stop. I'm, I'm, in the I'm at the psych ward. Ask me anything. Yeah. Are the socks really fuzzy? That's yeah. So oh my god. Funny. A few months after my cousin moved home, she was in this program which required her to apologize to people she'd hurt. Mm-hmm. What kind of program honest. is that? I've never yeah. heard of that before. <laughs> is she a friend of Bill? Or okay. yeah, one of which was me. All I said was, "I ate your fucking cake, bitch." 
and it was good. Oh my, oh my god! Am I proud of that? No. Yes, it, was it a little funny? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for reading. Sorry, I sound so mean. No, you know what? I love that story, and you don't sound mean. You found you sound like a fucking queen. You sound like someone who's had enough. She's had enough, and you sound funny. Mm-hmm. I think that yeah. You enjoyed that deep down in your soul. Yeah, and yeah. you should have. I think it was the right amount of intimidating and self-aware. Yeah, she put years on her life doing that. Yeah, it's Literally. so true. So don't feel bad about that. That's hilarious, honestly. It's really I, funny. Things like that, like, what is happening on the screen? Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were trying to send me a secret message or something. Um, I'm trying to send these guys Um, a secret message. He's trying to get us to wrap up, but I'm getting close. Because he's bored. There there was like one little short one. We've been recording for an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Well, we're good. Okay. So I guess it's hot dog time's over. Okay, so we'll get into the more juicy stuff on Patreon. Yeah. Because I need to ask you guys a serious question. See us on Patreon, you guys. And Paris and I are going to kiss. And Lee and Gabby are going to kiss. So you guys can find It's not cheating because it's 4th of July. It is true. And <laughs> do you want to come? <laughs> Does it count over July? July? And you can do anything with a hot dog if you put your mind to it. So here's there the thing. Um, you guys can catch us on Patreon. We do four extra episodes every single month. Love it. Um, it's patreon.com slash tea time. Okay. Patreon.com slash tea time for 2069. And that's on and that's not, who okay. even knows anything anymore, not me. But here's the thing. Um, we post the prompts every single week. We give Patreon people um, early access to prompts. And um, y'all can even suggest prompts on there if you're in a tier that allows you to do that. Woo! And then um, if you like this or you hate this, tell a friend. Tell someone you got divorced. Tell someone you got married to. Tell someone who um, is never going to get married. Woo-hoo. And then that's on that. Oh, and I don't know if we'll mm-hmm. be doing an episode next week because I get my eggs out either eggs. It's Sunday or eggs. Monday. So eggs and I can't even say it the other way, but um, if you like eggs, if you like scrambled eggs or eggs inside of a woman's body, you can send us in a story at tea time stories for 2069 at gmail.com. And we'll keep you updated if we are going to mm-hmm. take a week off. We'll see how I'm and feeling. Paris, where can we find you? Thanks for asking you guys. Um, we never do that. Can Let I me say just... something? I highlighted it like six times. They didn't want to Where? say it. I they just don't. Kept, the, at the top, literally, here, I just it was kept, highlighted. I literally. Lee, that's why I was floundering, and I kept talking because I because you kept doing something, but <laughs> I wasn't registering. That's why I was like, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at instagram.com slash official Paris Bush. Literally. And can I plug my OnlyFans, please? Yeah. Okay. And if you want to watch her put things in her pussy. It, literally not even. Or pussy. Um, my ass. Okay. It's literally all <laughs> anal. Um, okay. OnlyFans.com slash Paris Bush. Cute. Thanks, oh, guys. Yeah. See you on Patreon. Yes. Okay. And for her uh, conservative Christian content, that is also on OnlyFans. Yeah, there we go. I have to be so bad. Okay, MAGA. literally, sorry for that. And we love you. I-